You thought I was gone? You thought I was gone? Well, look who's back. <laughs> Yo, City. You are now tuned into nyynews.com radio with your host, NYY News, Felix, for the latest New York Yankees news and rumors. He's simply ravishing. Who's back? On oh, NYY News TV. Well, it is I. Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all welcome, Stas. So many things happening in Yankees, whatever they want to call it. What do they call it? I don't know they call the Red Sox, Red Sox Nation or something like that. They call the Yankees Nation, the Yankees Universe. So a lot of things going. You know, Yankees re-signed Rizzo. It's looking like the Yankees want to get that Aaron Judge signing out of the way so they could, you know, see how much money they have to go after other players. But I do believe, in fact, that the Yankees are going to spend big this offseason. I think Hal Steinbrenner has had enough, and I think Hal Steinbrenner is going to spend that money. Cha-ching, even though, you know... He's not going to have money for investing in stocks or whatever the hell he has been doing with the Yankees' money because the Yankees, as we all know, are worth billions and billions of dollars. No, no excuse to have the not have the longest slong in the room. If you have the longest slong in the room, you show it. Just as if you're a hip-hop artist... You have all the money in the world. You're going to show with the bling bling. You're going to show with the gold chains. And this is what Hal Steinbrenner needs to do. Look, we have the biggest pickle here. We're going to show it. So I expect the Yankees to go big and spend. What players might you ask? A lot of people are throwing out the name Trey Turner. Specifically because he has stated that he wants to go Back to the East Coast and play there. This is why he's not returning to the Dodgers. And, you know, it makes sense to me. An established player. Hits for average. He had, I think, he tied his career high or career high in RBIs. Phenomenal player. Then moving along, you might have a situation where the Yankees holla at Carlos Correa. And why? Because it came out that the Yankees want to, this is the exa- exact quote from the NY Post, Joe Sherman, they want to get rid of Josh Donaldson and Hicks. I don't know what team is going to try to take Donaldson off the Yankees' hands, but... Obviously, the Yankees are going to have to eat some of his contract up. People are saying, why don't you release him? The Yankees don't want to pay 25 mil uh, straight up for a washed-up Donaldson. 
Uh, he's not washed up defensively, but offensively, he, he looks horrific. So, there's a situation there with Josh Donaldson, third base. Like I said, how how they didn't like how the Yankees, obviously, when you own a, a team and the fan base boos you, like the way they did back in that uh, Derek Jeter ceremony, you're going to have a chip on your shoulder. So, I don't know about how, man. He, he doesn't know. Sometimes he comes out there and, and says things that is going to trigger the Yankees fan base. So, But I, I think by now he has learned his lesson. And I think you're going to see Nasty How. That's his new nickname. Nasty How come out and say, hey, I got the biggest dick in the room. Yankees are worth more than Sam Bankman freed. And, you know, you're going to, he's going to show that. So, shortstop, IKF was tendered, non-tender, whatever the, the word there is. Uh, Yankees picked up his contract. I don't expect, maybe he's a good utility guy. Maybe the Yankees hold on to him. But remember, the stigma with IKF is that he won a gold glove. Ladies and gentlemen, he won that gold glove during the COVID season freaking Luke Voigt won what what was it the batting title <laughs> that season so you can't tell me he's a defensive wizard because that percentage of games the, it doesn't prove that he's off defensively all there so that's what he is a utility guy obviously he plays catcher as well so yeah I, I would hold on to him as you know He's just a utility guy. Second base, DJ Mayhew is healing from his injury. He doesn't want to go to surgery. He, he'd rather take the route where he just heals on its own or whatever, but it's still going to heal if you get surgery. So I don't under, understand the logic behind that. First base, obviously we got Anthony Rizzo back. Uh, who's going to be the backup first baseman? Do the Yankees go out? And I don't know if teams are going to have a hard-on for Luke Boyd. Do the Yankees offer him a spring training invitee? The Yankees still have Ronald Guzman, if I'm not incorrect, if they still have him. Maybe they could or he can uh, perform and show his worth with the Yankees as he's going, as he is um, – transitioning into being a two-way player, uh, a pitcher, and a hitter like Shohei Otani. Can he do it? Who knows? But he'll be a very popular Dominican player. I know in DR, they'll be fascinated by that. So outfield, obviously, you got to go out there and re-sign James, Aaron James Judge. That has to be your first priority. Get it out the way. Center field, Bader. You obviously get rid of Hicks, as it was quoted in the NY Post. And you go out there and get Ben Attendee. But I heard that Ben Attendee wants six years. and But he does kind of remind me of Brett Gardner. And Brett Gardner was solid. But Ben Attendee has a history of uh, having injuries. Brett, Brett Gardner, uh, he, he was consistent. I don't know. He wasn't that much of a fan favorite. Later on to his career, but he was consistent. Can Benny be the same type of left fielder? Who knows? Obviously, Brett Gardner was a center field for a few seasons as well. But I would like that outfield. I would like Judge, uh, Bader, and Ben Attendee. Uh, John Carlos Stanton at DH, uh, give him a few shots at left field here and there. And even in center field. But uh, I'm talking about Judge in center field. But then again, Bader is solid there. He's one of the best defensive center fielders that I have ever seen in my life. So, with that being said, I went... Yeah, let's talk about the catcher position. Trevino is amazing, by the way. Uh, Platinum Glove Award winner. But offensively, the Yankees... That's one of the uh, Achilles heels that the Yankees had. Uh, end of the season, uh, going into the playoffs... They didn't get any offense from the catcher position. And I would like to see the Yankees improve there. 
they just need they just need pop from the catcher position. Obviously, from when we had Gary Sanchez, Gary Sanchez was trash at times, but at least he was a home run threat and and offensive threat uh, when he came up to the plate. Names that are out there: Cody Bellinger. Um, if you heard my previous uh, podcast with Ruben. He has a new show now, and we'll want to use Ruben Execution. He doesn't like the idea of the Yankees approaching Bellinger, but I do, as Bellinger is coming from a big market like Los Angeles. This is not a little city. This is a kind of city that's like New York City, where the media is going to be on top of you, where the fans are going to be on top of you. They expect you to win, and the pressure is there. Transitioning to New York, Cody Bellinger would just abuse that uh, short right field porch, and... You know, if if they could possibly obtain him, I would take a shot with Bellinger, but that means you would have to uh, not approach Benintendi and plug Bellinger over there in left field. You know, he might have a resurgence being a Yankee. His dad was a Yankee, and he always wanted to be a New York Yankee. So I, I I'm not I, I like the idea. I don't I'm not the one of the one of the guys that say this guy's washed. He's not. He's still young, and he could turn things around. And no, he's not another Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo was a head case. So, what do we have here? Wow. Who's ringing in? Is that... Oh, my God. What? He's ringing. Ringing in. Adam King. He's calling to say things are great. His takes are really cold. He's a classic Twitter troll. By the way, hide your little dog. Let's, let's see. Hello. Let's see. No let's one is available to said. take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Pete, you thought I was dead? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Ha ha ha. Adam King will never die. My death was blatantly rigged and you know it. This is beyond rigged! Me and you are going to box. That's right, you heard that. 100% rigged shit. Challenge Pete Simonetti, the Simonetti source of boxing match. You wanna play games with me? Tell me to eat pancakes? Oh, you fucking pancakes. kidding me! It's me and you in a ring 2022. Each person puts up five grand. This is beyond ring! Right. Winner takes all. I'm ready for you. Are you goddamn fucking kidding me? Wow, do you hear that? Adam King wants to box Pete Samanetti, the Pete Samanetti of this channel, and one use TV. It's a boxing match. And he has five grand. Adam King does not have five grand, folks. The most that that dude has is like five dollars or ten dollars, but I do want to see that. I want to see if he's not smoking hot air. He wants to f box him because Pete made fun of him because he Adam King was on video one time asking his mother to make him pancakes. <laughs> wow, that's kind of sensitive, by the way, Adam King. Uh, you want to physically hurt a man because he, he made fun of you. We're eating pancakes. That's natural. Everybody eats pancakes. Not me. I'm grown. But I guess you being a 37-year-old old man <laughs> still eating pancakes, that's kind of weird. So moving along, let's get back. Let's just make this show weird now. Let's, uh, you know what was funny? Let's just randomize it now. Let's get off the subject of baseball. I saw a video of dogs trained to drive cars <laughs> that was the most that's like dog evolution right there that's like in half a million years dogs are going to be humanoids oh my god let's check it out driving dogs rescue dogs trained to drive a car I find this fascinating. Most dogs love to go on walks. Some enjoy a good swim, but these dogs prefer to go for a drive. Affordable, Meet Porter and Monty, who successfully passed their driving <laughs> test on live TV and are the world's first driving dogs. Isn't this amazing? Look at that. Oh, 
reporter became the first dog in the world to drive a car. He drove on a New what Zealand racetrack in, in, in a specially Zealand. modified Mini. Porter was oh able God, to drive the car there. and even turn corners around the track after just eight weeks of training. The dogs drive cars specifically altered for them. There are special handles fitted on the steering wheel, dashboard, gear stick, brakes and accelerator pedals to allow them to access them easily. And most importantly, a speed limiter to make sure the car doesn't go above walking pace. The dogs were all amazing, rescued folks. by the SPCA, which is the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals in Auckland, New Zealand. The dogs were chosen from the shelter and then taught how to drive in order to show the public how intelligent and capable shelter dogs are and above all deserving of a loving and nurturing home. Porter is an old beardy cross and Monty is a giant schnauzer cross. The two dogs had been taking driving lessons which began with them learning to steer a wooden cart pulled along on a string by their trainers. <laughs> Good. Good that boy. is amazing. Ready? Good. Good. That's clever. Kia. Good. Selfless Wait. driving hard. Good boy. Pepe. Turn. 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 The greyhound driving the car. Good. You're so clever. After successfully maneuvering the car around a lap, they progressed to driving a real car. The two dogs were challenged to a racetrack test drive, which was broadcast live online. Let's they go. were strapped you can do into it. the driver's seat with seat belts, with their front paws on the steering wheel, with special accelerator and brake pedals close to the wheel, so they can push down on them when needed. And then they followed commands from their trainers, who walked in front of the car. Animal trainer Mark Vett said, You wouldn't believe any dog could learn to drive a car on its own, but we've proven through our understanding of animal psychology and specialised training methods that intelligent creatures can adapt to the situation they're in. I think sometimes people think Imagine because they're getting an animal that's dogs. been abandoned that somehow it's a second class animal, which is not the case. That would be amazing. Ultimately, the aim with the driving dogs demonstration is to get people talking about the dogs and hopefully making an SPCA rescue dog their top choice for Ruff. people thinking of adopting Your a pet. You're sentenced to life in prison. Oh sure, Ruff. dogs Ruff. surfing and dogs fetching beers are always impressive, but nothing will ever beat driving dogs. Off for a treat. Anyway, that's the end of this Good video. Boy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Wow, that was amazing. And that's your wallabot. Still talking, buddy? Stud that's finder. It. Oh, it's that's cool because it shows the wire. So, uh, man. By the way, shout out to Ozzy Gain Jr. going viral with that. Baseball fight in Venezuela. Did you guys see that? Uh, let's see. Actually, nah. You part. You guys probably saw that. I won't play it again. But let's uh, let's hit up Google. Let's see what the latest N Yankees news is. Let's see. I like to do this. Yankees on hunt for bullpen reinforcements. More the merrier. The Yankees had one of the best bullpens in baseball, including an all-star closer during the regular season this past season. Yankees social media. Teammates react to Aaron Judge's MVP award. Oh, the old Nesson. The old Yankee haters. MLB rumors. Mariners interested in trading for Yankee star. And by the way, that's something I forgot to mention. I totally forgot Glaber Torres in the beginning. Because I re like I remembered him being shopped. So I was talking, speaking in a way where he wasn't going to be a Yankee. So yeah, Glaber Torres is going to be gone. And will be rumors. Mets view Justin Verlander as plan B for Jacob DeGrom. Mariners eyeing Yankees infielder. Yet again. Why the Yankees should remain picky about a Glaber Torres trade. The only reason why they should be picky because he had he finished off strong. 
But if he was Glaber Torres, Glaber Torres, uh, not a you couldn't you can't be. I I, I would say this: the Yankees shouldn't be picky when it comes to trading Glaber Torres. Aaron Judge rumors this team will make a run at Star Slugger. Aaron Judge is leaving clues that he'll probably re-sign with the Yankees. Yes, that's what I believe as well. That Aaron Judge will be back. So there you have it. Uh, that's what's hot on Twitter. I mean on Google. Google that shadow bans NYY News from appearing on Google News. By the way, NYY News TV fans, go over there and complain at Google and ask them why. NYNews.com, NYNews TV, NYY.news doesn't appear on Google News when it when NYY News literally says NYY News. Hmm. Wow. I guess they don't want me and P to be millionaires. I guess they want us to live forever because if me and Pete were millionaires, we wouldn't live that long. Trust me, folks. Well, we're extremely, extremely YOLO. So, again, wow, amazing. Amazing fun show like always. I know I, I left out a lot of s stuff out, but this is why you have other shows on NYDS TV. They pick up the slack. I'm just here for to, to maybe educate you, but make you laugh, make you entertained, you know, and it's me again. This is the number one off-season show on NYY News TV. This is why you see Ola Como Estas during the off-season. Because, you know, we have to entertain you somehow. There's no baseball out there. So, folks, again, we saw driving dogs. We heard Adam King ringing in. And again, hide your little daughters. Hide, hide your sister, your mother, because Adam King is lurking. We had fun on this show today. So, you know, let's zoom in here. Like always, this has been Felix from MLYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Nah, let me be serious. This has been MLY News TV with Felix. Thank you for checking in with forget I, I totally messed that up. You know you know the vibes. If you're not subscribed to M Y News TV, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, we're not one of those channels that say breaking news to try to clickbait you. We keep it real here. So again, this has been Felix from MLYNews.com. If you don't follow me on Twitter by the way, underscore M Y News. If you don't follow me on Instagram, just uh it's Nasty North NYC. Like Nasty Nestor, but I am the original Nasty. Okay? So follow me. And if you're not subscribed to NYY News, the channel, subscribe. I'll check you out next time.